and I'm working with the 3D printers for robotics. I have the MakerBot program up, and I have the designs that were created in the Tinkercad program. And uh, using the IP address, I can connect to both printers. Right now, I'm working with the big one and the small one. And I'm printing one thing on this one and multiple on this one. And I can have them both going at the same time and they can both go overnight. Because once this one starts printing, I can disconnect and it'll just keep on printing. So you're connecting the IP address to both of those printers so they know what to print based on what you what command you gave them here, is that correct? Yeah, because if um because I can choose between these. Yeah, um, but like since this one hasn't started printing yet, if I was to select um this one, then it would stop printing because it still needs like the commands from my computer until it starts printing. What do you find is the most powerful part of doing that? Would you not please? What do you enjoy the most of what you're doing here as far as a G2 um, with this? So, um, I like creating the designs in Tinkercad. Yeah, and then um, I also like making sure that the printers are going because sometimes there'll be a filament slip or a filament jam. Because like on the nozzle, because it has a little nozzle that squirts out the plastic like a big hot glue gun. No, um, yeah, but um, sometimes there'll be like a glob that, that'll basically back it up. So you have to get that. You have to monitor off. that then. Yep, and so I monitor it to make sure that it's going, and once it gets going good, then I let it be. So what, what do we have here? This is the camera identifying, or...? Yep, this is a camera for the Mini. Yeah, and, um, and you can see it printing. And like this, it's saying that there's an error with the extruder, and that happened last time, we just have to restart printing it. And that's what's going on right now? Yeah, this is going on right now. Just lowered it. But well, this one is started printing, so I can disconnect from that one. Then I'm going to get this one to restart printing. Well, this is very informative. Thank you very much. That's okay. awesome. And, and this then, is right. Explain your robotics team. And you're making products for the robotics team. Can you explain that further? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, um, we have these trophies that we need to mark our base, basically. And so... Um, the wolf heads are part of the trophy, like you can see over there, they go on the top. That, that one's a mess up because the base stuck to that one. But, but, um, so there's our wolf, right? Yep. And then um, the, this is a hubcap for, for um, Keegan and Ethan's team, because uh, um, they like hubcaps for their tires, and so I'm printing those out right on the 3D printer. So you're part of what team? No, um, what team are you part of? I'm a, in the marketing team. Okay, so the other teams are? There's building, programming, marketing, and building. And that's what we got going on around the makerspace today. Yep. And well, then I also printed out the cube set of we are practicing with for competition. This has been amazing. I want to thank you for the tour and your role here robotics team and wish you the best and we'll, we'll tune in next when we're at a robotics competition right any final thoughts um.